welcome. Welcome, welcome. Glory to God. May the Lord bless you. Yes. <laughs> Welcome, Shebishana. <laughs> May the Lord do you good. May the Lord turn it around for you good in the name of Jesus Christ. You're here. Amen. Welcome. Welcome. God bless you. Somebody go ahead and share this message. The Bible says it's the blessings of the Lord that make it rich and add no sorrow. So I encourage you to share. Amen. It is the blessings of the Lord that make it rich without sorrow. May the Lord bless you this hour. May the Lord turn it around for your good. May he open those doors. Today is the last day of our three days of fasting. Welcome, Sister Michelle King-Jones, Sister Carlene Sturgeon, Sister Nancy. Welcome. People of God, go ahead and share. Hallelujah. It is well. Welcome, Sister Debbie Eversley. Glory to God. Minister Jeline, welcome. God bless you. Jesus. It is well. God is faithful. And he knows what's best for you. Sometimes you feel like God is not listening. Or God didn't hear you. Or God is not answering you. But I want you to understand. He is a faithful God. He never miss anything. Amen. God don't miss anything. He has never forgotten anything. So let us enter into a moment of prayer. Yes. Let us enter into a moment of prayer. Hallelujah. Jesus. The volume is low. <laughs> okay. Let us pray. As you join, I encourage you to just share. We are not late. We are just starting. Amen. Hallelujah. Go ahead and share. You are not late. Mm. Most righteous. And eternal Father, we come before you this hour to give you honor, to praise you, to glorify you, to adore you, to lift your name on high. Right now, we are lifting you high. You are high and exalted. You are high and lifted up. You are high, O oh God. 
you sit up high and you look down low right now we saturate the atmosphere with the blood of Jesus Christ we give you all the honor we give you all the praise we give you all the glory we lift our voice to you in one accord to tell you thank you Jesus thank you for your many blessings thank you for how far you brought us thank you for where we are today thank you for where you're taking us thank you for what you have taken us through thank you for the things that you have prepared for us you said you go and prepare a place for us and if it was not true you wouldn't have said it so lord we just want to say thank you for our journey thank you jesus for el shaddai prayer tower thank you for your people oh god that you are sending from the east you are sending people from the west heavenly father you are sending people from the north heavenly father you are also sending people from the south and we just want to thank you we give honor and praise to you the head of this ministry holy spirit we welcome you now holy spirit we welcome you now come on holy spirit we welcome you in our midst have your way my god my god my god have your way tonight we ask you to touch the heart of your people that have hardened their heart towards your word oh god we ask you tonight to breathe upon them touch them let it be well with them O oh god melt the hearts of your people that have been hardened towards you oh we thank you lord for the word and we bless your name now because you are god all by yourself we give you all the praise tonight and the honor let everything inside of us praise you you said let everything that has bread praise god tonight we praise you with our mouth we worship you we lift you up oh god we command our body to worship you we command our mouth to praise you we command our eyes oh god to see See what you want us to see we command our ears to hear what you want us to hear oh god tonight we command our feet uh, to tread upon serpent and scorpion as you clear it as you have given it unto us as you have released it unto us so tonight we trample upon everything that was sent by the blood of jesus christ and we thank you we give you honor we give you all the praise we give you all the glory thank you jesus for what you're getting ready to do oh hallelujah thank you lord many have come and gone because you have blessed them so tonight we ask you to bless those that are here and bless those that are coming in the name of jesus christ of nazareth even now oh god I cover myself in the blood. Jesus. I cover myself in your blood. I command my flesh to be under subjection to a Holy Spirit. Come and have your way, Holy Ghost. Take your rightful position among us and let it be well with us. In the name of Jesus Christ, we say thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. Welcome. Welcome. Hallelujah. Welcome, everyone. Hallelujah. I encourage you to share this message. I encourage Abadi Kotsuto Mantarabaya Kosharaba. I encourage each and every one that is here tonight to share, take a moment to share this message. You know, many times we go on social media and we share things that are not even of God and we don't know because it looks so good. 
some of the things that we are sharing, if we really know the truth behind it, we would never share them. Some of the things that we click like, we like it. We are following these people. We don't even know. I just want to take this moment to welcome everyone. God bless you for being here. Hallelujah. May the Lord breathe upon you this hour. I don't know your story, but I know someone who specialize in taking glory out of your story and give you victory. Amen. I know someone who specialized in giving victory because he said victory belong to us. Victory belong to Jesus. We belong to him. He is our daddy. We are Jesus baby. We are Jesus baby. Amen. Somebody say I'm prepared tonight. Yes. One of the reasons there have been some people that God have selected to operate in this ministry and the devil is fighting them. And I'm here tonight to remind you if the devil is not fighting you, you're doing something wrong. If the devil is not coming after you and your family, if the devil is not coming after you when you're sleeping, if the devil is not coming after your children, if the devil is not coming after your marriage, if the devil is not coming after your job, if the devil is not coming after your status, hallelujah. So I'm here to share this with you tonight. First time watching, welcome, God bless you. I'm here to share this with you tonight. Be in the mood to pray. Many times you receive a vision from the Lord or he give you an idea and because you told the wrong person they begin to speak against it and the thing never happen. The thing never come to pass. So I encourage you, be warned that many of the problems that you're having, it's not from a stranger. Your enemies are not strangers. Your true enemies are never strangers. Your true, I'm going to repeat this a few times. Many of us, we think it's just some strangers that became enemies. No. Many times, your enemies are people that you once help. People that you used to show favor. God used you to show them favor and they became your enemies. Your enemies many times are people that you love. You know how? You're not wrestling with your flesh and your blood. Your enemies are flesh and blood. It is the spirit that they allow to use them to come up against you. The Bible tells us that we wrestle not against flesh, flesh and blood we wrestle with principalities and powers rulers of darkness we are wrestling with spiritual wickedness in high places so you're not wrestling with your ex-husband you're not wrestling with the children's father no you're wrestling with the spirit that is using him to fight you that's what you wrestle with so if your children are giving you a hard time go to the lord in prayer because when the devil begin to move in rampancy is coming at you as well whoever the devil is using to fight you they have attack that is their attack so they attack you the closest person so your enemies are not far from you 
the devil cannot use people that are far away from you he have to use people that are close to you hallelujah jesus the devil will never get to use stranger you see if you meet a stranger on the street and you became friends after associating communicating sometimes it turns out into relationship this person is on a mission not to be of a blessing but a curse the person was sent by the devil himself operating in the spirit realm but in your presence they pretend to be a friend to be a loved one to even be family some get so close so fast everything moves so fast you said this relationship is going so fast i don't know what to do no pay attention not everyone that is laughing with you is laughing because of your well-being not everyone that is laughing and gallivanting with you they don't have good intentions not everyone that is rocking with you is not a rocking good intentions for you let me see if i can fix it not everyone that is in your face on a regular trying to know your every move not all of these people mean you well they are not well wishers Many of them are the same naysayers and gainsayers. Many have been paid to be in your presence, to hear what God is telling you. Some came to hear your dreams, your prophecy. Hello? Hello? Some people came to your life. They came to record your conversations they came to copy you oh lord they came to take from you they came to drain you by the time they are finished telling you their problems i, I encourage somebody just go ahead and share this message please share it by the time some people finish telling you their problems you don't know what to do with yourself. You have no appetite. You, you, you go home and you're angry at your children. You're angry at your spouse because somebody dumped everything. Oh, Jesus. Let us open the Bible and go into the book of first, Second Corinthians. Not first. Open your Bible. Let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter 7. Today, the Lord told me to go into 2 Corinthians chapter 7. And while I was there nav navigating the word of God, I came upon some interesting things that I want to share tonight. Amen. Don't let anyone drain you. Yes, it's okay to listen, but that does not mean that you have to get in your feelings and take their negative energy. It is the plan of the enemy to slow you down. Amen? Don't allow anyone to dump anything on you to mess you up. We rebuke that spirit in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Many times some people come into your presence and you go to bed and you cannot sleep because everything that, there's, that they said to you is playing over and over and over in your head. So tonight, we're going to dig into the word. 2 Corinthians chapter 7. I'm going to read from the, the New Living Translation. Let's hear what it has to say to us. It says, because we have these premise, promises, dear friends, let us cleanse ourselves from everything that can defile our body or spirit. 
So you see, that is the plan of the enemy. He wants to defile you physically and spiritually. Let us cleanse ourselves from everything that will defile you, defile our body and our spirit. No, our spirit is spiritual, our body is physical. So we are going to cleanse ourselves. It said, part B, it says, and let us work towards complete holiness because we fear God. There are some innocent people. They fear God. But they got themselves into some mess that it's very difficult for them to come out of. Difficult. I'm using the word difficult. Many believers end up in cults. Oh, God of mercy. Oh, Jesus. Let's go deeper. I'm just going to read and stop. Please open your heart to us. We have not done wrong to anyone, nor led anyone astray, nor taken advantage of anyone. I am not saying that this is to condemn you. I said before that you are our you are in our hearts and we live or die together with you i have the highest confidence in you and i take pr great pride in you you have greatly encouraged me and make me happy despite all our troubles hallelujah glory to god this is second corinthians chapter 7 May the Lord bless the hearer of this word. Now, I'm going to give you a little breakdown before we enter into prayer. He said, cleanse yourself is a twofold action. Turning away from sin and turning towards God. You have to walk away from the things that distract you. Before you can come to God. You cannot come to God. And still live in the same life. No. You cannot come to God. Until you get rid of your baggage. The, you know according to the word of God. The Bible said let us lay aside. Every weight. That easily drag us down. So there are some people. That some of us have in our life. And all they do is drag you down. The whole entire friendship is a tear down. It's a sinking valley. It sink you as a ship. You know they said friendship. But the ship is sinking. Lord Jesus. Sister Donna Lisa. Welcome. God bless you. I hope we get to meet you when we come to Grenada. Because it, I heard it's right next door to Trinidad. Hallelujah. The word of God is telling us that there are two ways. It's a twofold. Cleansing is not a one-way thing. Number one, you have to get rid of the baggage, the things that are holding you down in sin. So you have to get rid of sin. Walk away from sin. And then turn to Jesus. This is why the word of God said, turn from your wicked ways. According to Chronicles chapter 7 and 14. Turn. Wherever you're heading, that doesn't glorify God. First thing you have to do is turn. That is the one, the first fold of your cleansing. No man, no man come to Jesus Christ and remain the same. None. You're going to be a hypocrite if you find, I say this all the time. If you find that you are doing the things that you used to do when you were in sin, you are a hypocrite. You're not saved. And you cannot come to God in hypocrisy. There was a time when Jesus called some men hypocrites. Because they didn't change. No. Here, right here, the word of God is encouraging us. It says cleansing ourselves is a twofold. It's a two-step. Let, let me rephrase it. It's a two-step action. Amen. 
you have to turn away from sin. And after you turn away from sin, then you turn to God. So you know there are some things that you have to do before you say that, call yourself a believer. You know what you were involved in before. So when you want to call yourself a believer, there are some steps to take. Some changes have to be made. He that come must come believing that he is a rewarder to them that diligently seek him. So when you clean up and come, he will reward you. He will give you everlasting life. How you know? The wages of sin is death. The w Jesus. Sin is a reproach. And the wages of sin is death. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter how intelligent you are. It doesn't matter how pretty you are. Good looking people die in sin. And good looking people will go to hell. Hallelujah. So I want you to understand. Money cannot buy your way to heaven. Oh Jesus. It says. Working towards complete holiness. Literally means perfecting holiness. What Paul was telling these people. It have nothing to do with pagan with pagan temple or feast they were to make a clean break from their past you see our past is what hold us in bondage but tonight we declare that we will never be in hostage to bondage tonight we declare that we will never be in hostage because of bondage We know what the word hostage means. To hold you against your will. And we know what the word bondage means. You're bound. You can't make any moves. You're stuck. You're doing the same thing over and over and over. Even if it doesn't glorify God. You find that you're doing something. Sometimes it's witchcraft. Sometimes it's a spirit of jealousy. Sometimes it's a spirit of lying. Stealing. Backbiting, dishonesty. Many people have business, and with the scale, they are robbing people with the scale. It means that once they continue to do this thing, they are in bondage. What does it, Jesus, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose their soul? Hi, Jesus. You know, I was talking to an old friend of mine earlier. And uh, another friend of mine I talked about her the other day. They just started treating her with bone cancer. And when I went to Jamaica, I saw her. I went to see her. And the driver gave me a hard time because I was on my way to airport. It's not one of the best areas that she live in. But those are areas that used to be my stomping ground, so it doesn't bother me. And I don't know where she live. But somehow, we saw a restaurant. I know she live in that area. And we stop at the restaurant. When we stop at the restaurant, I call her. And when I called her and I told her where I am, she said, but I'm down in the lane. So the restaurant is at the front of this. <laughs> so I said to the driver, let's go see her. And he was telling me, this is a bad area and da, 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 da. I said, don't worry about it. I went to see her. And I, I just, I, I, I couldn't do anything. I just sat there and I looked at her. And I, I don't know what to say. Yes, I'm a woman of God. Yes, I am. I'm saved. I'm a pastor. But when I saw her, I couldn't pray. I couldn't speak. I was lost for words. 
back when I live in Jamaica, I used to go to the gym five days a week. And she was one of my gym partner. We went to school together. And as we got older, we used to hang out, go out. My children knew her. And it, it, it hurt my heart. She was the one that was bubbly. She's very tiny in body. She's, she's mixed. So she's very tiny in body. And I sat there and I looked at her. And I said to her, I don't know what to say to you. She's blessed. But now she's sick. She got baptized a couple of months ago. And that is beside the point. Because getting baptized is different from when you're sick. She got baptized because she's sick. So I'm praying to God that she don't lose her faith. Like I said, I walk into her home for the first time. For the first time. And I was broken. She's like a sister to me. That's how we live like a sister. When she told me what the doctors are saying, honestly, I could not believe this is happening to someone that I'm so close to. Yes, she told me the truth. But when I actually saw her, I just sat there on her porch. And I was just mourning because I don't know what to say. I cannot pray. I, don't, I have no words in my mouth to pray for the woman. She's a mother, she has children, she has grandchildren. She's a great person with great personality. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I'm here preaching every day. And when I went to see my friend, I called her my friend, my sister. I couldn't speak. I was lost. I didn't want to say the wrong thing. I couldn't pray. I couldn't say a word. I couldn't give her a hug because she's got so much pain. I couldn't touch her. Too much pain in her body. I said, what is this? I said, what is this? I was with her, but I was reasoning with myself. Listen, this is someone I knew from I was a teenager. So last month in May, when I went to Jamaica, I went to see her. She told me the, sit the situation over the phone. But it was a whole different level when I saw her. But I pray that the God that show mercy remember her. You see, God said he show mercy to whom he want to show mercy. Mercy is not given to everyone. Mercy is not given to everyone. And what God said, as I speak about it, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to get hot. So people of God, listen. There, there will be a time in our life when we cannot pray. I felt her pain. I went, I was on my way to the airport and I took the time to stop. I, as a matter of fact, I think I was about to pick up Sister Angelia. Because she came at night. So we stopped for food. I didn't really need any food. We just stopped so the driver can get something to eat because he was going to be with us for a long time. Hi. As I, as I speak about it, I, I called her a few days ago and she said, she don't know, she said, I don't know what to tell you because I can't keep any food in my stomach. 
for months the doctors were saying that they don't know what's wrong but now they are they have a diagnosis that it's bone cancer she's walking with a cane she's maybe a year older than myself for those of you who know me this person that i'm referring to we are pretty much the same age and she cannot stand straight she cannot take a hug no she might throw up but tonight i ask god the one who show mercy to have mercy yes she baptized she sent me the video of her baptism and i just want someone here to know this don't wait until it's too late she wasn't sick for long but i'm always there when she called me i'm always there to listen And I pray that God will perform a miracle. So this evening I was telling another friend of mine about it. And she said, but she was so skinny. I said, yes. I said, no, she's sick. Because she was the smallest one in the group. And when I told her, I said to her, listen, the woman got baptized. She gave her life to the Lord because she's sick. Don't wait until it's too late. You need to give your life to God. She said, I know. I said, don't wait until it's too late. You see, God brought me back to Jamaica to speak to the people that I already knew. Who knew me from my past. Who need to hear the word of God coming out of someone like me. When I say someone like me, that was wretched. A nobody. We are nothing without Jesus Christ. So I was telling another friend this evening about that friend that is sick. She said, I didn't know. I said, no, you wouldn't know. Because you're busy with your life. You see, when we are, when, when, when we are young and, 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 and vibrant and living our life, we connect. But as we get older, we disconnect. We begin to disconnect. Some of us travel overseas. We disconnect. We thank God for for his grace. So you see. There is nothing here. That's being done. Because of flesh. Nothing that was done. In St. Catherine Jamaica. Because of the flesh. The flesh could never do. The things that took place. There are cars parked in her yard. Not one, not two, a few cars. And I don't know. She can't go into a car. But I pray for a miracle. I share this here tonight because the other friend I didn't see none of them when I went to Jamaica. I went to see one. None of them couldn't visit me because the other one was also sick and I didn't know. She fell sick. So the one that I get to see at night because I pushed to visit the other one. So people of God, I'm here to let you know. Pray for the people that you don't hear from. Pray for them. Don't judge them because they are financially stable and you're not. Or their situation is different from yours. Don't envy anyone because of what they have. You don't know what they're going through. You don't know even people with money have problems. And their problems are different from ours. So tonight we are going to pray. We are going to ask God for mercy. And I would encourage you to let us focus on Psalm chapter 3. We are in 2 Corinthians 7 where it's time for cleaning up. We have to be cleaned up. Oh Jesus. 
we have to be clean. We need to be clean. The devil don't care about your money. The devil don't care about your looks. The devil don't care about who you're related to. I did not feel any forces when I went to the woman's house. All I know is that I couldn't pray. And she lives behind, behind her church. All I know, I couldn't say a word and I couldn't pray. And I asked God, what is this? But there are some, um, there comes a time in your life when you just have to be quiet. Sit down and be quiet. Your presence is all you need to work through you. And I sat there for maybe 15 minutes. Then I got up and said, I'm going because I'm on my way to the airport. I said, I'm going. People of God, let me share something with you. It breaks my heart. As much as you know me, praying for years, praying for people, praying for stranger, I could not pray. I could not say a word. I just sat there and look. And I was asking myself, what is this? I've never seen anything like this before. But I know who God is. I know who God is. Amen. And the reason why I'm talking about her, I, this is, I think this is my second time talking about her. I'm talking about her tonight because I spoke to another friend of mine who I didn't get to see that one. And she's having problems. Turn your Bible to the book of Psalm chapter 3. Hallelujah. Yes. Psalm chapter 3. We're going to pray, but we're going to go into the word of God first so we can know what we are praying about. Amen. David. David. When David had to hide from Absalom. I talk about this when sometimes children come up against their parents. No, this psalm is in regards to David running away, hiding from his own son, who the devil used to attack him. He says, O oh Lord, I have so many enemies. So many are against me. But you he says, so many are saying, God will never rescue him. But you, O oh Lord, you are a shield around me. You are my glory. The one who holds my head high. I cried out. I cried out to the Lord. And he answered me from his holy mountain. I lay down and sleep. Yet I woke up in safety. For the Lord was watching over me. I am not afraid of 10,000 enemies who surround me on every side. Arise, O Lord. Rescue me, my God. Slap all my enemies in the face. I guess in the King James Version, this is the one that tells, he said, to break their jaw. Break the jaw of the enemy. Shatter the teeth of the wicked. Victory comes from you, O Lord. May you bless your people. Tonight we are going to pray. For Psalm chapter 3, verse 1 to 8, to be fulfilled in our life. If you can put up on the screen Psalm chapter 3 verse 1 
to 3 and verse 4 to 8. Hallelujah. I remember Job. When Job got, when his day came and the devil touched him. And he was just mourning with his friends. Job didn't pray. He cursed the day that he was born. <sighs> you know, humility is good. It's good. I didn't go to that woman's house to lay hands on her to pray and pray up a storm. No. I went to see her. And I thank God I was obedient. I didn't do anything outside of the will of God. I was humbled. Not every fight is your fight. Not every warfare is yours. There are some people that you have to pray for them in secret. You can't even tell them. So tonight we will pray. The, what it says, it says, How are they increase that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Many, many there be which say of my soul, there is no help for him in God. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory and the lifter of mine head. Thank you, Holy Ghost. There are some warfare people will tell you about it don't try to do it on your own it doesn't matter how well you love a person it will cost you your life amen he said he will be a shield for you this is a sword and it's in a shield so the sword goes in the shield God will be your shield to protect you. So the shield is a protection. May the Lord protect you tonight. May the Lord hover over you. In the name of Jesus Christ. May your enemies never say, ha ha, so will I have it. May your enemy be disgraced. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May your enemies be destroyed by the fire of God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May Psalm chapter 3 verse 1 to 8 be your portion. Arise, O Lord, and show yourself mighty tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, arise, O Lord. Arise, O Lord, and show yourself strong in our life. Show yourself powerful in our midst. Arise, O Lord. Jesus. Arise, O Lord. Arise and show thyself mighty on our behalf. Arise, arise, O oh Jesus, arise, arise, O oh God, arise, and let thy will be done, let thy will be done for your glory, arise, O oh God, somebody go ahead and share this message, arise, O oh Lord. And show thyself mighty tonight. Arise, Daddy Jesus. My God, it's time for us to pray. Arise, O oh God. Arise, O oh God. Tonight we declare international appointment. 
tonight we declare international contract. We ask God tonight to arise. We declare tonight international appointment, international contract in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Somebody open your mouth and pray. We ask God to arise and we decree and declare that there shall be a performance of the Holy Spirit in our life. We dey boko shato. My God. Open your mouth and declare. Arise, O oh God. And give us strength. Arise, O oh God. And give your people. Some of you, you don't even sleep at night. And the Bible reminds us that he gives sweet sleep to the righteous. So you see, when you're living righteous, you're expected to sleep sweet, to sleep good, to have sweet sleep. So tonight we decree and we declare that you shall have sweet sleep. Some of you don't have no peace. You cannot sleep past four hours. Hallelujah. You cannot sleep past four hours. Sister Persia, my dear, welcome. God bless you. Sister Kayan. Sister Michelle, welcome. Many of you don't sleep. You don't have no peace. You barely get a little bit of sleep. But tonight we decree and we declare that you shall have sweet sleep. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You shall have sweet sleep. My God. Hallelujah. Tonight we decree, arise, O God. Father, show yourself strong and mighty in my home, in my ministry, in my marriage, in my finances, in my children's life, in their workplace, in their career, in their education. O God, arise and show yourself mighty. Show yourself powerful. Show yourself strong in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Arise, Mokorumoko Sata, Rabababako Shakata. Arise, Holy Ghost, arise, 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 and show yourself mighty tonight. We decree and we declare that you will answer by fire in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Somebody open your mouth and pray. We decree and we declare healing and deliverance. We decree tonight, arise, O God. We declare healing tonight. Arise, O God, and show yourself mighty and bring forth healing tonight. Bring forth breakthrough tonight. My God, arise. Uh, I place sister, I place Jody Mandaralakosaya, who is laying down, worried about what's gonna happen to her baby. I place her. In the care of God. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I place Trudy in the care of God tonight. Mighty God, have mercy upon these pregnant women. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that they will give birth like the Hebrew women. Oh, God, have mercy upon them. Jesus' mighty name, arise, oh God. And show mercy upon the fruit of the womb in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Arise, O God, and show mercy. Show mercy to the merciless in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible reminds us, it said, Blessed are the merciful because they shall obtain mercy. Hararakosato. Jesus. Tonight we ask the Holy Spirit to arise. Arise and bring healing and breakthrough and deliverance. We ask the Holy Spirit to arise in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Arise, Holy Ghost. Arise. Arise, Holy Ghost. Badadako Sato. Somebody open them out and declare, Arise, Holy Ghost, and show mercy. Mercy. Show mercy in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Arise, Holy Spirit. Arise. Father, we ask you tonight. Arise. Jesus. Hallelujah. You know, sometimes we pray and we forgot to repent. 
we forgot to ask God for forgiveness of our sins. Sometimes we pray and we ask God to do everything for us. And we did not repent. So tonight we're going to repent of our sins. Tonight we confess our sins before him. Tonight open them out and declare, I confess my sins before you. And I ask you to forgive me based on your mercy in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Tonight, oh God, we confess our sins and we are asking for forgiveness for the known and the unknown. Many times we sin and we don't even know it. Many times we sin and we don't even understand how deep we are in sin. So tonight we are asking God for forgiveness for the known and the unknown. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, you have to, you have to ask God for forgiveness. And you have to also forgive people who hurt you. God will never forgive you of your sin if you refuse to let things go. So if you have a sister or a brother upon your heart, tonight you better let it go. Many people are sick. And no healing is coming. Why? Because deep down in their hearts of heart, somebody provoked them. Somebody despised them. And they despise the person. They don't know what's going on. When you don't hear from someone, don't judge them. You never know what a brother or a sister is going through. Forgive. Let go. Move on. Open your mouth and ask God for forgiveness. Confess your sins to him. I confess my sins before you today, Daddy Jesus. And I ask you to forgive me based on your mercy. You see, David said, judge me according to my unrighteousness. No man is perfect. Not one. No man is perfect. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No man is perfect. So ask God for forgiveness tonight. Confess your sins before him. The known and the unknown. Some people join the platform and they just finished stabbing someone in the back. They just finished talking negative about someone else. Ask God for forgiveness. You want God to bless you. So you have to learn to let go of the people that you're holding up in your heart. You allow the devil to rent out space in your head and your heart. You cannot forgive. Let it go. Let it go. Confess your sins before God. And ask for forgiveness in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let's get down to it. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, arise. I want you to pray this prayer with me. Oh, Lord, arise and wash me and cleanse me by the blood of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and declare it. You don't have to write anything. Amen? I get to understand when you write certain prayer or prayer points, they will block you. So just pray the prayer. Don't write anything. Don't write certain things. Let me fix it. Oh God, arise and wash me and cleanse me by the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh God, arise. Arise, oh God, and wash me and cleanse me by the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh God, tonight we ask you to arise and wash my children and cleanse them, oh God. Arise, oh God, arise and wash my grandchildren and cleanse them by your blood. Oh God, arise. Oh God, arise and wash us and cleanse us by your blood in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh God, arise. Arise, oh God. Open your mouth and declare, Oh God, arise and wash me and cleanse me by your blood. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Oh God, arise and wash me and wash my children, wash my house. Oh God, arise and the people that are connected to me. Oh God, I ask you to wash them. Wash down El Shaddai prayer tower. Wash it down tonight. Oh God, arise and wash down your people. 
in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. Ask him, arise, arise on my behalf and wash me and cleanse me. Fix me up, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. You see, many times we pray for ourselves and we don't pray for our household. We don't pray for the people. When you pray for your household, you're praying for the people in your house. Amen. Even if you don't mention their names, you're covering your house. So tonight, I want you to declare this. Oh God, arise and cover myself and my household by the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh God, arise and cover me. I cover myself. I cover my entire household. Oh God, arise. Open your mouth and pray. Oh God, arise and cover me in the blood. Oh God, arise and cover my children. Oh God, arise. I cover my entire household. I cover my grandchildren in the blood. Oh God, arise. Open your mouth and pray. Ask God to arise and cover you. According to the word of God, the Bible declare, when the spirit of death passed by and saw the blood on the doorpost, they passed over. They couldn't stop. So it's time for you to cover your household in the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Ian Ilton, welcome. God bless you. Open your mouth and pray, people of God. Oh God, arise. Arise, oh God. And cover my house. Cover every doorpost. There are some people that are sick. Somebody's watching right now. And you're watching from somebody else. Um what you call it account you're not watching from your account you're watching right now from someone else's account and you are sick i pray healing you're a man jesus jesus there is a man watching and it seemed like this man know me and the man is watching from someone else's Facebook account. And the Spirit of the Lord is telling me that this man is sick. He needs prayer. But the life that he is living, it doesn't glorify God. He's not living his life to please God. But tonight I pray for you. Tonight I pray for you. You're watching from someone else's account. You're watching the live tonight. Right now you're watching it. But you're not walk watching it from your phone. Some, may the Lord have mercy upon you. Oh God arise and heal this man. Oh God arise and heal this man right now. I declare healing upon this man. Whatever he is going through. I declare healing of his mind and body. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I declare oh God arise and touch him in a special way. And let your will be done in his life. Take glory out of this man's life oh God. Arise. Arise oh God. Arise oh God. Oh God, arise and let your will be done in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. I want you to open your mouth and pray this prayer with me. That your prayers will not go in vain. It will produce results. Tonight I pray that my prayer will never go in vain. It will produce results. In the name of Jesus Christ. My prayers. It will never go in vain. Results will come. There will be a performance. By my prayers. They will never go in vain. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I want you to open. Oh my God. I want you to open your mouth. And pray this prayer. That your prayers will never go in vain. You see the Bible tells us. That the word. Will not return void. 
the word of God will never come back empty. It will do what it was sent to do. And tonight we decree and we declare in the name of Jesus Christ that your prayers will never go in vain. It will enter heaven. Open your mouth and declare, my prayer will enter heaven. Open your mouth and declare, my prayers will enter heaven. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Open your mouth and pray. My prayers will enter heaven. My God. It will bring desired results. Whatever you said, so shall it be. Mighty God. So shall it be. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Hallelujah. You see, many of us, you know, when, I, when, I, when I'm here and I'm referring to us, it means that no one is exempt from whatever I'm about to say. So I use the word us. Many of us, the things that happen to our parents, if we are not careful, the bad things, the bad life that our parents used to live, if we are not careful, the same thing happened to us. But tonight we pray that the things that happen to our parents, it will never happen to us. The bad life that they pass through, the stuff that they go through, it will never happen to us. We will never go down that road. In the name of Jesus, Mandarabakosaya, the things that our family members gone through the bad things that they boko toko roboko sataya we will never go through it my god we cover ourselves i want you to place your hand on your head right now and cover yourself in the blood of jesus christ i cover myself the things that my family went through the things that the failure that happened to my parents it will never happen i will never fail in the name of jesus christ I will never fail. The failure that happened in the life of my parents, it will never happen to me. Many of us, we sit down and watch our parents fail because they didn't know God. Many only used to go to church, but they never really know God. So tonight, we, Jesus, who, my God, tonight we pray that the failure, the, the way they failed, the places that they failed. We will never fail in those places. The areas that they failed. We will never fail in those areas. Mighty God. The thing that happened to them. That caused them to fail. It will never happen. Oh God arise. Jesus. Yes. The thing that happened for them to fail. It will never happen to us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, people of God. Money is not success. Some people had money and they died prematurely. Let me show you something. There was a woman called, she was very powerful prophetess. Her name is called Catherine Coleman. K U L M A N R K H U L. I don't remember how it's spelled, but it's Catherine Coleman, the only one of all time. And she was very powerful. And upon all the things that she did for the Lord, <laughs> you know what happened to her? She died prematurely. Catherine Coleman was a woman of God. Very powerful woman of God. Very tiny. I want you to understand this. Upon all the power that God gave to her, she died before she turned 70. So tonight we open our mouth. Tonight we open our mouth and we declare that we will never be cut short. In the name of Jesus. Tonight we ask God, oh God, arise. 
Arise and give us strength that we may never be cut short. We will never die prematurely. In the name of Jesus Christ, O oh God, arise. According to the word of God, the Bible said, God give us three scores and ten, meaning that we are supposed to live to age 70 and over, not under. If you know anyone that died before they turned 70, it's called premature death. Catherine Coleman was a very powerful woman of God, yet... She died before she turned 70, so she died prematurely. So tonight we pray that we will live to our full potential. We will never be cut off short. We be korobo kosoto. I encourage you to open your mouth. Her last name is spelled with a K. Not Coleman, Col. Mighty God. Her last name is spelled with a K. Jesus. It is well. Yes. My God. Mm. Jesus. Okay. Or, yeah, you guys didn't spell her name right. This is how, this is what she looked like. Her name is spelled, it's Catherine. Yes. K U, yes, K U L. That's her. Catherine Coleman. She died prematurely. She was a woman of God, very powerful. Mm hmm. She was born 1907. Hallelujah. Jesus. And she died 1976. She didn't make it to 70. Jesus. You see, this is the plan of the enemy. This is the plan of the seven of the enemy. She was 69 when she died. She never make it. You see, these are the little things I look at. I don't look at the big picture in people's life of what they did. I look at when they died, at the age. So as powerful as this woman of God was, she never lived to her full potential. I have never, there are, no one has ever spoken about another woman of God the way the media speak of Catherine Coleman. Amen? So I want you to understand you have to pray. You cannot go to a place where you see the devil is destroying and try to take over. The devil will finish you. You need wisdom. You need wisdom. And this is why many people die before their time. Because they are fighting warfare that don't belong to them. That God didn't permit. People are fighting warfare that God did not tell them to fight. Listen to me. Be obedient. I don't know why God is using me to talk about this dead woman. But she's dead. She was a woman of God. She was very powerful in her days. She had a lot of great men with her working in the ministry. But she died prematurely. Tonight it is my prayer that you will never be cut short. You will never die before your time. You will never die in sin. That is my prayer that you will die in Christ. It is my prayer. People of God, we need to do our research. We need to read more. We need to spend more time reading. Reading about people of God. And in their day. Many of them, you will see what causes them to fail. 
So we pray that the powerful people that was raised up in your family that got cut off short, you will never go down that road. Wherever they fell short, you will fall strong. We pray tonight that whatever make them weak will make you strong. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That was a pattern. That The failure that happened in the life of your parents will never happen in your life. Declare it. It will never happen in my life. Where my parents fail, I will never fail. Where my parents fall, I will never fall. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I decree and I declare, I will never fail where my parents fail. Many of us, when we really look at our parents, we look and we size them up. I was using the word sized in so Sunday in church. We look and we, see, we size them up and we see where they fell, how they fell, what causes them to fall. And I pray that you will live long. The word of God said, He wants us to live and be in good health and prosper. But I pray that you live long in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh God, I declare upon this platform tonight that your people will live long. I declare long life and prosperity in the name of Jesus. Where your parents struggle, you will never struggle. Mighty God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I hear the Lord said that church that is being built in Jamaica right now, it will be a place uh, for salvation. Many souls will be saved right there. Mandokorobo Kosoto. I declare Ebe Koshataya. It is well. My God, the Lord is telling me. I'm standing right there on the waterfront and the sea was rushing up to the shore. And I hear the Lord said that church that has been built will be a house of salvation for many. Oh God, have your mercy, have mercy. Arise, oh God, and have mercy upon El Shaddai. Arise, oh God, and have mercy upon El Shaddai, prayer to her. Arise, oh God, and have mercy upon El Shaddai, prayer to her. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Arise, oh God. Hallelujah. My God. You see, some of us, some of us, we have some pattern that we go by and it came from our parents. <coughs> some pattern that doesn't even make no sense. Yes. Some of us, we have some pattern that don't make sense. And tonight, we come against every evil pattern that came from our parents. You see, our life solely depends upon the bloodline that we came from. Our mother's side and our father's side. Amen? Some things that we do sometimes, it's in our bloodline. Our grandparents used to do it. And the thing is not right. So tonight, every evil pattern that we have, we destroy it. We bury it by the fire of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Many times, the foolishness that we do, it's because we used to see our parents do it. Many foolishness that gets us into trouble and lead us into sin. It's things that, it's a curse from our daddy's side and from our mama's side. Either way. So tonight, we bury every curse, every evil pattern that caused curse to be upon our children. We bury it by the fire of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Many things some people do. And it's because that's what they used to see their parents do. And they continue it. And the thing is a curse. 
Hallelujah. So tonight, that evil pattern, we put it to rest by the fire of God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, it is done. My God. Hallelujah. You see, many of us, we come from family that don't live long. I say this here before. When I moved to Connecticut, I met a man. A businessman and he told me that he cannot have any relationship with any woman because it's not gonna last when I asked him why he said because his grandfather his grandfather died at 65 his father died at 65 and he know that he's not going to live past 65 so he cannot have a relationship any serious relationship there was nothing I could say because that was a curse. That right there was a curse. And this man, he looked at me and he said, I have built everything. The only thing that's left for me to build is a church. You see, sometimes you meet some people and the seed that they sow in you, it lives forever. I've never seen that man again. He said to me, I have built houses shopping plazas he built all he's a builder and he have all these type of things he said the only thing that i have never built is a church lo and behold i did not know god was gonna use us to build a church so you see sometimes when somebody says something to you they are actually sowing a seed in you he wasn't a believer and the man looked at me he said i can preach I said, you can preach. He said, yes, I can preach. I learned. I, he said, I learned how to preach. I taught myself how to preach. I said to him, you baptize? He said, no. He said, a lot of friends that I have, they are pastors. And it was very interesting to listen to this man because everything that he was saying, it makes sense, except he was not baptized. And that's how you know that this is the devil right here. The man said to me, that the only thing left for him to build is a church. And this was like when I just moved here, 2008. Yes. 15 years ago. Almost. Almost 15 years ago. 13 years to be exact. This summer, it's going to be 13 years. The man said to me, the only thing that he has never built is a church. Very, he's a wonderful person. Great personality. Characteristics. Everything about him was great. He said, I cannot have a relationship. I cannot get serious with any woman. My grandfather died early. My daddy died early. And I even went as far as have someone to investigate this man. I'm telling you. You know, out of curiosity. And everything about him is true. He didn't lie to me. He never lied to me. But the thing that blew me, he said, I'm not going to live long. And I never look back. That's all I needed. You see, sometimes God will allow some people to enter your life for only one word one word and what was the word he said the only thing he has never done is build a church and today as i sit here i understand now so thank god for the holy spirit you see he said he will be the one to bring things back to our remembrance hallelujah so i'm here to let you know that every giant that was set in your family to destroy you Tonight, we said fire to them in the name of Jesus Christ. Every giant, every giant, mighty God, every giant that was set up in your family to destroy you. There are some family and there are some other families that dominated those families. So they became giants. 
they rob, they steal, they take away everything from them. So tonight we pray that every giant that was assigned to our family be taken down by the blood of Jesus Christ. Every giant. Somebody open him out and pray, oh God, arise and take down every giant that was set up in my family to tear us down. Tonight we pray, oh God, every giant that was set up to tear down El Shaddai, we destroy them by the fire of God. It's time to pray. It's time to pray. So every giant that was set up to tear us apart, to take us out, tonight we tear them down by the fire of God. Every giant that was placed above El Shaddai, tonight as I raise this sword, I take you down. I, somebody said, I take you down. I take you down. <coughs> yes, every giant, every giant, the known and the unknown. The known and the unknown, every giant that have been commissioned to stand over us tonight. We take you down, every giant. Oh God, arise and take down every giant. Somebody open your mouth and pray. Oh God, arise and take down every giant that was commissioned to stop us. By the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh God, arise. I can't get too loud because it's late. I'm not even supposed to be in here at this time with loud noise. So I have to keep my volume down. Amen. Tonight we pray. Oh God arise. And take down every giant. That have been assigned. To stop us. Every giant that have been sent. Tonight as we raise this sword. We take them down. Every giant that was released. Uh, my God on our behalf. Tonight we take you down. By the fire of God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every giant, every giant, oh God, arise and take them down. You see, many of you, you don't want to pray. But when we're done, you want a phone, phone prayer. It don't work like that. It's time to open your mouth and declare. Every giant that has been assigned to stop you and your children, to destroy your marriage, to destroy your ministry, to destroy your home tonight, we take them down by the fire of God. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Open them out and declare. Every giant, the known. Some of you, you are friends with the giant that was sent uh, to stop stop you so tonight uh, we destroy the giants the known and the unknown mighty god some come in the form of friends some come in the form of family they were assigned to stop you so tonight we stop every giant every every giant every giant that was released to slow us down tonight as we raise this sword. We stop you by the fire of God. Mm -hmm. You better pray. You better pray. Don't wait until we are done. You want to talk. Because when we are done here, I'm going to bed. Amen. We have to pray. Many of you are fighting some serious secret warfare. You can't even talk about it. So tonight we release the blood upon every giant that they sent to stop you. We set fire to them. By the blood of Jesus Christ. Every giant. We set the fire of God. What is a giant? A giant is bigger than you. Mm -hmm. It's bigger than everything about you. But there's nothing bigger than the blood of Jesus Christ. Because it reaches to the high, highest mountain. And it flows to the low, 
through the lowest valley oh the blood that give me strength from day to day it will never lose its power the blood there's nothing bigger than the blood of jesus christ nothing what can wash away my sin nothing but the blood of jesus and what can make me all again nothing but the blood of jesus oh precious is thy flow that makes me white as snow no other found i knew nothing but the blood of jesus listen to me some people come in the form of friends and you realize it's like you hold them your life you're in the pick in you in <laughs> let, let me see if i can pronounce this word you're indebted to them it's like they did a little bit of favor for you maybe there was a time when you were hungry and broke and they were dear for you and it's like you owe them forever yes but i come tonight to cut that cord some people pretend as if you owe them and tonight we are here to set fire to that cord in the name of jesus christ it's not healthy it's not safe tonight we are cutting every card to people who make it seem like you owe them your life mighty god because god used them to bless you and they are taking god's glory tonight we cut off that relationship we cut it off. We cut that relationship right now. We cut it off to the root. Because somebody pray for you and you receive healing, that does not make you owe them anything. If it's a church, you receive your blessing there, bless the church. But you don't owe anybody anything. No. So anyone of you here that is a member of this ministry that is connected to this ministry whether near or far and you have someone in your life holding latching on to you hmm. latch on to you because they did something for you in the past tonight we destroy that relationship by the fire of god anyone that have attached or latch themselves onto you because they were once good to you making you feel like you owe them tonight we set fire to that relationship and we destroy it by the fire of god in the name of jesus christ of nazareth it is done amen some people can't even talk about it because somebody did a favor for you they made you feel like you owe them your life god don't get no glory when people behave like that they are taking god's glory so tonight we set fire to that type of relationship we set fire to that type of relationship so tonight we declare every stronghold of death and tragedy in your family tonight we pray that it will be scattered by the fire of god in the name of jesus christ of nazareth every stronghold of death and tragedy that has been assigned tonight we ask oh god arise and scatter them by the fire of god in the name of jesus christ of nazareth oh god arise oh god arise you see many of you don't want to pray war for your prayer but you when you go to the obia man and he give you the you don't want to pray war for your prayer but you will save money to take a flight to go see a obia man or a psychic to practice witchcraft don't do it pray 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 ask god your prayer can stop death your prayer can stop death 
So tonight we pray against every death threat, every death warrant that was assigned upon your name, that was assigned upon your life, that was assigned upon your family, that was assigned upon your marriage. Every death threat. Tonight as we raise this sword, we set fire to it. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, every day threat that woke to revoke saya in the Baba Kashato, we set the fire of God. Every strong wall of death and tragedy in your life and the life of your children. Tonight we set fire to it. Somebody open them out and declare, Oh God, arise and destroy every strong wall of death and tragedy from half my life, from my children's life, from my household. Oh God, arise. If you don't want to pray now, you will be sitting in the hospital or laying down in the hospital praying later. You know, this is not wicked prayer. You know what is wickedness? When an accident takes place on the highway and the person did not make it, that's wickedness. So don't wait until something bad happened to you. You're ready to pray. Pray for protection. Pray. Send angel to stop that dead spirit that they assigned to destroy you and your family. Send angels of protection and assignment to stop every strong wall of death and tragedy in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every death threat, every strong wall of death and tragedy that was assigned to slow you down, to stop you and your family. Tonight we ask God to arise and stop them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh God, arise. We destroy that spirit of death, that strong wall. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we destroy it. You see, you have to pray. I came here tonight like this to pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Many of you don't achieve anything. You work so hard, you have nothing to show for it because it's an evil pattern for non-achievement. Many of you, you are, you are low achievers. And you watch the people that came to rob you become high achievers. Some of them, they came and they took the ideas that you have and they use it. And you watch them and you fold your arms like this. Using the ideas, the vision that God gave you, you gave it to them. But tonight, we put an end to it. Tonight, we ask God to arise so you and your family can be high achievers in the name of Jesus. Some people don't achieve anything. All they live off of is generational wealth. They don't have anything. They live off of what their mom had or their dad had. So yes, they fight over family land. Oh God Almighty, tonight I pray that the Lord will raise you up and bless you and your children. Mighty God, you will never have to depend on anyone. I pray that God bless your children so they don't have to depend on you. I pray that God bless you so you don't have to depend on your children. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes, my God. Halabakosaya. You see, many of you, you come from family that are blessed, but you have nothing to show for it. Nothing. Nothing. So tonight I pray that your life will attract prosperity. Open them out and declare, Oh God. Arise and let my life attract prosperity in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh God, arise. 
oh God, arise and let my life attract prosperity in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, arise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Baroko Sato, mighty God. Oh God, arise and let my life attract prosperity in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, arise. We want God to arise. According to Psalm chapter 3, the word of God said, Oh God, arise. So my enemies don't laugh at me. Oh God, arise. And break the jawbone of my enemies. Oh God, arise. And break the back of my enemy. Oh God, arise. Oh Jesus. Arise, oh God. And destroy them. By the fire of God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus. My God. Oh God, arise and have your way in my life and let your will be done for your glory. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh God, arise. You see, when you pray like this, you will see results. When you pray like this, God will hear you. Once you repent and pray and forgive those who you have held hostage in your heart, let them go. God will never bless you if you're holding a grudge. It doesn't matter how bad that person was or what they did to you. Don't hold grudges. Don't hold grudges. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't hold grudges. Now, if this is your first time, may the Lord bless you and show you off. Amen. It's the last day of our three days of fasting. And I didn't come live this morning for the purpose that we are here now. I wanted us to pray at night. You know, I had to keep my voice down because it's almost 10. Once it touched 9 o'clock, we don't get loud around here. They will call the cops. So pray for me so we get our church so we can have Friday night service and do warfare. It's called warfare. Many of you need this. So share it with your friends and your loved ones that they can pray. Hallelujah. I know one person for sure is enjoying tonight. Sister Aya St. Bailey and her children. They are enjoying tonight. Amen. She said, Rev, I don't like when you come on late. I like when you come early so you can pray. <laughs> May the Lord bless Sister Aya St. and her children in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. No, we will. Today is the 23rd. We will be um, sharing the dates when we will be going to Grenada. We will be going to Grenada for a three-day program. And we will also, and that would be in September. So in, in a week, we will have the dates prepared. Amen. Praise God. Yes, three days program in Grenada in September. Now, in November, we will have one week program in Jamaica. And it is my prayer that the church will be more convenient for us. We didn't have a lot of things because the building is not done. We need doors, windows, and the floor. Amen. Hallelujah. We need to tile it or whatever. I don't want concrete. I don't want um, carpet because... It's right there on the beach, so the salt air will damage those texture. So we, we want tile. Mm -hmm. God is amazing. So we pray we are collecting building fund so we can finish our church. And by the help of God, it will be done. If God touches your heart and you want to contribute 
towards our building fund the number is eight six zero six three four eight five five seven yeah you can use zelle paypal or cash app and yes if you don't have any of those and you want to be a blessing you can contact us on whatsapp at the same number and we will give you the necessary information you need to be a blessing to the ministry we are still doing our charity hallelujah yes once a month every third sunday we will we do our building fund our covenant for those of you who are in covenant with the ministry remember your covenant seed it's every third sunday hallelujah now i want to remind you if you want to join and partner with us in covenant you can send us a message on whatsapp it's fifty dollars every month every third sunday you can partner with the ministry in covenant every third sunday it doesn't matter where you are it's 50 us dollars hallelujah if you are in jamaica and you want to co join covenant with us we will show you how to 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 take care of that if you are in america england canada it doesn't matter where you are you can join and become a covenant partner and watch what god will do you're joining co joining covenant with us in prayers and see what the lord will do so many people have powerful testimony sometimes i just shake my head when i hear these testimonies i pray that you will have a sweet sleep tonight i pray god will bless you amen if you have an offering and you want to send it to the ministry and you, you, you we have oh, we are we are we are legit so you can send, if you want to send a check you can send it to el shaddai just write el shaddai on the check amen we have our accounts hallelujah el shaddai there we go so if the lord touches your heart and you and he asks you to pay tithes pay your tithes if you're a part of the ministry and you're working you need to be blessed you need the blessings that comes with the ministry pay your tithes amen it is a secret between you and god tithing there is no negotiation with tithing it is your covenant with god for you and your family pay your tithes it's not negotiable there is no words to negotiate why you don't pay tithes once you have an income please i beseech you by the mercies of god pay your tithes you cannot rob god the devil will always find a way to rob you when you pay your tithes the devil is afraid of you when you <laughs> when you pay your tithes the devil will be afraid of you amen now without further ado my time is up i have to go i just want to pray a short prayer amen father we thank you for what you're doing we thank you for where we are and where you're taking us lord i seal every word that was released tonight in the atmosphere i seal it in the blood of jesus christ every prayer that was prayed tonight oh god hear our cry and answer to it in the name of jesus christ of nazareth we decree and we declare it done in your name amen hallelujah once again my time is up i have to go you know this was breakfast with jesus amen this is what breakfast tastes like at night <laughs> this is what breakfast tastes like at night amen it is well hallelujah this is what breakfast tastes like at night time can somebody send me a picture I'm trying to measure up properly to take one
Amen. Once again, have yourself a wonderful night.